Yo, what's good, YouTube? This your man with the plan, Jay Grinds, out here with another YouTube video. In this video today, we're going to be going over the new snipe filters as it is Friday, and we gotta see what's going on with them today. But before we get into that, man, if you guys are new, if you could please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, as we are on the road to 200 subscribers, and we are getting pretty, pretty close, so I appreciate that, guys. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. As you see, I did finally get Pete Maravich, Pistol Pete, if you guys did see my previous video about triple threat uh, glitch. But let's go ahead and get right into it, man. The first filter I want to go over is this Yao Ming out of position filter. So what you do is search Yao Ming, dark matter, out of position, and set your minimum buyout to 500. This card is rare. It is going to be an insane card, and there are people out there who might assume it's not an invincible, it's not an end game, and assume it's a buyout and throw it up for a price. So I think this might be a pretty decent filter, depending on how rare he continues to be. When I recorded this this video, he was there was only like 10 or 12 of them up. So if he's that rare, it's going to be a pretty dry filter. But if he starts getting pulled a little bit more, going to be a pretty good filter, I believe. You can also do the dark matter out of position enabled filter i guess buy out um lamello ball and Giannis. they're both pretty cheap about twelve thousand, and then do um cheapest or 500 buyout i'm not sure if there's any other dark matter out of positions cards that are a bid or not a bid sorry a buyout and then you'll be able to see the out of position yao and out of position michael jordan which both of those are snipes so that's another option as well if you want to spend a little mt the next filter we're going to go ahead and get into is the end game filter, man. As you guys know, set your theme to end game, your minimum buyout to 500, and just start refreshing, man. Anything you see on here will be an insane snipe. It should be rare, but it might be getting more and more frequent now that we are getting more and more end games in the game. So, this will be a great filter to work on if you have some patience. So, you just keep refreshing, and obviously, you'll be making a killing if you get a snipe on there. Next filter we're going to go over is the Invincible filter. Same thing, set your theme to Invincible and minimum buyout to 500. And just keep refreshing, man. If you guys see, there's certain cards you need to look out for. So when, before you start sniping, check the prices of these Invincibles, man. Bill Russell, Tim Duncan, Robert Ori. Uh, I would stay away from those. I mean, Vince Carter, now that he's everywhere in the game, you need to check and see what his price is going for. Um... Cade, I'm not sure. I haven't checked. I checked his pricing last night for Invincibles, but I did not see Cade ending soon. Lamella was going super cheap last night, so there are some you need to look out for. So just check the prices of the cards, man. I just, I'm warning you guys now, man. There's going to be buyout Invincibles very, very soon. So just be careful. But this is still a great filter. It's going to be very active now that there is tons and tons of Invincibles in the game. The last filter we're going to go over is set your theme or color to dark matter. Set your maximum bid to 500 and your minimum buyout to 100,000. This is a bit of a weird filter. It's a newer one. I haven't talked about it in any videos. It's kind of like the enabled filter with ha without having to enable. So you set your thing here and then you want to bid on all these cards. Because you see this is a huge, huge scroll. So you bid on these cards that are 500, bid 550. And when you get outbid by someone or if you have two consoles this is a great filter to work on so you bid on the car the console you're gonna snipe on then log on your second console and just bid a little bit more so they will then disappear from your scroll so you can shorten this way down and it'll just be like the enabled filter but you only see cards that are posted with um, a bid of 500 and a buyout of a hundred thousand as you do get some of these cards to disappear off your filter or if you have two consoles you can lower your minimum buyout you know at to see more and more cards um, but that's a great filter it's a little bit confusing but it is you get a lot of snipes on that filter next filter we're going to go over is the grizzlies filter what you want to do is find the cheapest one which looks like they're going for about four thousand right now so you want to drop your buy uh, your maximum buyout down to about three thousand and just keep refreshing this should be a very active filter, as it is anytime we have packs, man. People don't even look at what team the cards are, and they just throw them up for whatever. 800 MT, doesn't matter. They'll just throw them up. So this will be a great filter, very active today. Should be a good filter for a while. For a budget, we are on to the budget filters now. Uh, the next filter we're going to go over 
is the shoe colorways diamond Nike's prices have risen with these Yao Ming's and um, Giannis is out so which one I get a little snipe here okay this one I'm not sure if that's a snipe right in it I'm not sure on how high these prices have risen earlier they were going for about 3500 before the content came out so let's see here okay 5,000 none okay I guess I should have sniped that other one too that's all right Bring this up, let's check like six, okay, so that looks like about 6,000 is what Nikes are selling for right now. So you want to bring your maximum buyout down to about 4,000 and just keep refreshing. You can do 4,500 um, if they are selling for 6K, but you might want to snipe them at 4,000 and then sell them quickly for 5,500. Uh, just keep refreshing on here. Should be an active filter again. I say this every week, especially if 2K drops a locker code with the shoe consumables in it. But it does look like Triple Threat Online boards still have shoe packs, so it should be active either way. Another one that you can use is the Puma. Find the cheapest one, which is like 3,000 right now. Their prices have gone way, way down, but it is still a decent filter. So it looks like 3,300. So what you want to do is bring your maximum buyout down to about 2,000 MT. And just keep refreshing on here, man. Again, should be active. Not not a lot of well, a lot of people now, but not so many people know that Pumas are expensive, so they might be throwing up a lot of them for a thousand MT and whatnot. Next is contract diamond. So consumables, contract card, card type, color diamond. Find the cheapest one, which they are rising up a little bit. So it looks like seven thousand seventy-five hundred. You can sell them for. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's only three up for seven thousand. So you want to drop this down to about five thousand. And just keep refreshing again this is going to be a good filter because people are going to be grinding domination this weekend so they are going to be getting tons of these contract cards and just throwing them up for whatever price because people are lazy and don't like to check pricing so that should be a pretty active filter next filter we're going to go over here, of course is the dark matter cheapest what you want to do is find the cheapest one on your console again don't really need to do this bots are buying these out at 8600 so all those cards are going to sell here in a few minutes and you want to bring your buy maximum buyout down to 7,000 and just keep refreshing. Anything you see on here will be a snipe, and this should be an insanely active filter, man. This is one of the best filters in the game. You see tons and tons of snipes. Same thing, man. The Galaxy Opal cheapest bots are buying these out at 5,600, I have confirmed. So what you want to do, find the cheapest one if you want to do it that way. But they do buy them at 5,600, so bring your... Maximum buyout down to about 4,500 and just start refreshing. Look at all these snipes here. I don't ever expect to see these snipes when I'm recording. So I wasn't really ready. But I missed all those. That's all right. Let's just see if we can't get anything else. But this is, you just keep, look at this filter. It's act, okay, miss, can I get mic in? This filter is crazy active, man. This might be a great filter for you guys. This is looking, uh, bro, that's crazy. All right, we just got three snipes. I'll take that. So that is a great filter, man. Going to be very active, as you guys can see. But let me go ahead and post these up, man. That is the end of the video. I hope that you guys did enjoy. I appreciate all the support lately, man. If you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment, man. You guys have a blessed day. Jay Grinds out.